Next, we'll hear from Hannah Komar of Belarus. The bird flies out, the nestling watches it from the nest. The swing of her wings, the turn of her tail, the air yielding unto them. The horizon is tilted, the world around gets tightened in an end. If she doesn't come back, the shell will be its home, a doll. The doll didn't do anything bad. Her torn out eyes replaced with a button, her ear cut and her mouth stitched up with a shoemaker's needle. Her ripped off arm tossed for the cat to play with. A hole made between her legs so she can give birth to more of her kind. With her neck tied around with a pink bow, she's fussed over, rocked in the cradle, spoon-fed until the food falls down her chin and stain her dress with something resembling soup for sperm. Blotches appear on the doll's body. Her little owner doesn't know why. Am I not taking a good care of you? you ungrateful thing. At night, the doll opens her eye, unties the knot on her neck, rips off the other ear and stuffs it between her legs to fill the emptiness. Creeping close to those who brought her here, she lies in bed between them. A good daughter. You get kicked off the bus, drunk. I press my doll to my chest and stay silent. I smile at your friends, those drunkards and fools, like I'm good and stay silent. You dig the fork into the flesh of your arm, I give you a towel and Stay silent. I bang on the neighbor's door to protect my sister and mom and stay silent. I watch your sleep where you fell, breaking chairs and our hearts and stay silent. As you are growing old and breaking down, I am silently healing my wounds. Your good daughter. Amira. You cried only once when I happened to sit on your glasses. You laughed with me only twice. I can't remember why suddenly there was such light as if I had been given a son only for me. I cried every second day, then every day my skin burning when the eggs spit on the pan, when the boiling hot tea spilled over my hands, when your mother couldn't believe my single word. I cried every third night, after those three minutes with the lights off, when you allowed me to wear no clothes, which hid the wrinkles of my belly. A baby could smooth them out, but there were still more, ten more kilos to lose to your consent. My soul weighed like a street trader at the central market of Casablanca that your goods are the best. I didn't believe her, but got them time after time. And the poem Women's Solidarity Chains is dedicated to the women of Belarus standing up for freedom, for choice, and justice.
There are no more flowers, no more tears along the road. Only the beating from the passing cars. I want to be my body again. Neither red, nor white, or black, nor the hands holding reproach. But bare feet walking on grass. I put on a symbol and touch your hair. I do this to my fingers. Imagine my heart. A living woman. Neither a battle flag nor a battle of hope. I want to hear my voice. I want my body back. I must never have wanted it so badly. Thank you.